right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate. Here Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Silky. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready, He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. All right, so here is the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Duho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. Man, look at him load up on that right. Switch kick lands. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Nice defense there. Huge block. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter-striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Lead left punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice crack there. 
Well, he has done a masterful job using his opponent's aggressiveness and offense against him here tonight. Just look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. The counter striking has been the big story of this fight. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, he landed a fly under there. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Put your hands up oh, that body shot hurt him. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. His opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Looked like that body kick got him. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Trying to set up that counterattack. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Under two minutes to go. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Real sneaky body hit. Keep your hands up, use your footwork now. It's okay, use your Oh, footwork. nice knee. Nice block. Oh, the high kick land. He's got good hands, beautiful strike there. Oh, you land, I land, is that what we're doing here? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Left-right combo is good. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice counter shot there. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Missed on the right hand. Gets to the single collar tie. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. Oh, was that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique when done the right way. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are playing like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. It's a little payback time. you got to get aggressive. They're confident over there. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swelling. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Big straight left. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, nice. Unable to connect with the right. 
Well, thank God the left one's open because that right eye is really starting to shut. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Very active with the left hand. Beautiful punch. Oh, good block there. He's got the single collar time. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, beautiful counter. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Under three to go round two. Nice punch, win. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Choi. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice block. champion just over two minutes now to go oh look at that beautiful counter from the boxer right there doing a nice job baiting his opponent into it his opponent knew exactly what he was going to be doing he knew that he was a great counter striker but by overextending he's opening so opening himself up to taking some of these big shots overhand is good Another shot to the head. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Quick jab. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Under a minute to go now in round two. His misses are entertaining. You gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 20 seconds to go round two. What a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10 8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish. Was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find a shot that will put him down once and for all. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, it's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good Ready on the fight? defense. His Ready. opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice punch lands over the top. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. That was a big check. Clean with the right hook. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into hit the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Oh, man. Out of range with that one. Nice side there by the champ. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate. No denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they've both shown heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Left hook counter there yet again. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, my goodness. Hurt him bad. Oh, no. Under 30 seconds. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight, and 
The other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight.